Hello. Hello everyone. This is Siku again for today and this is Savi. Savi. And what are we going to do today, Savi? We're going to attempt to plant some such these succulents into mm -hmm. this weird log yeah. that looks quite like a pot. Yeah, this log. I went out walking yesterday and I found this on the side of the road and I think it right it looks like a little bit of a pot so we're going to use it use this just like a pot and we're going to plant some succulent in it so what we should do with this one first do you think it's ready to be used Firstly, or we need to get all out all the filling with the trowel good idea um, yeah okay. Go on. so as you notice sub is using the trowel to get rid of some part that we don't really need and we might use the fork as well later in the garden we use trowel and we use fork especially when we plant the things that we like like some succulents and so do you think you, you can trip it tip it and get rid of those now yep yeah let's see Nice. Put it to the fire pit so we can make maybe make fire later. So it go. seems pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. Awesome. So now, the first thing first for the plant to grow, we will need some potting mix. Potting mix. And because it's for succulent, so we have cacti and succulent premium potting mix for today. And with the garden, some people prefer to use gloves, but I think it's so much fun to use our hands because then you can feel it. You can feel the the wet of the sand. Sometimes they dry, and you can feel how dry they are as well. And okay. it's just the fun things to do. And so, most, you feel but make it. sure you wash your hands afterwards. That's right. Thank you, so much. Especially if you're gonna eat. Here we go. Can you can you help me with that one a little bit? And then we'll remember to wash our hands thoroughly with soap. Washing your hand with soap before you do anything else after you do gardening. Especially, especially if you're going to do and I'm um, go have some some food afterward. Here we go. Now Savi's so gonna put the first um, succulent in, and I might while you do that, mm -hmm. I might go and get other bits as well, other Mainly. part of succulent that we might be able to use as well. Mainly, while you put it in, you have to cover it up. You dig a hole and put the succulent in, then you fill up the hole around the plant. Oh. We have some of this as well if you want to use. So that succulent is very, very hardy, so they will grow very, very well if we plant it and take care of them. We don't really need to water them um, very often. With succulents, Maybe. they can store water in their leaves, so you don't need to water them as much. As Make other sure they know that. Here you go. Um, should I be putting this one in as well? This one is a big and tall. Where should we put the big and tall one? Um, I'm suggesting maybe we put the big and tall one at the back so when we look from the front yeah. we see the bit, the small bits first. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, we sm see the small bits and then we can see the back, the big one at the back. If we put it at the front, the small bits won't be able, we won't be able to see the small there ones. There we go. So, we need a big hole for this one. Do you need extra soil maybe? Yes, definitely. We need extra soil. For this one to fill it up, we definitely need extra soil. There we go. Get some extra soil. Get some extra soil for you. Again, it's good, very good feeling to have soil on your hand like that. Really, really nice. Good. 
you reckon we might need some more of that maybe yeah i think we put as many as we can feed feed in the um in the pot wow this one is looking good very very looking like a baby the baby very one small. very small Seedling. i might just pop it in that one there we're waiting for Savi to plant the last one maybe here we go and when he said last one there's still one more oh that's the last last one and yes. in and here we go here we go i hope you enjoyed that video guys and last but not least we want to make the succulent look more beautiful than it is now in this beautiful pot here and so, so what we're going we are to do going to decorate it with these colored rocks here we go. So I'll, let you, I'll let you go with that sabi you just sprinkle and them any way you like Very good. Any color you like. I'm, I like the red and I like the green as well. So what about the red? So we use a little bit of this Definitely. red as well? When you're ready. Red's Whenever blue. you're ready. Yep. Some may fall down, but that's okay. It's okay, you can pick them up and you can count them. You can count them. One, two, three, four, five. Which comes after five? Six. Six. Which comes after six? Seven. That's right. Seven and eight. Nine. Yes, you're right. And ten. Well done guys, good counting. Very and good counting together there. It looks a bit like Christmas colours. You think? Yes. Here we go. Special little white. Very good. Do you think it's ready now, Sabi? Yes. But you can add as many decorations as you want. You can even add animals in there if you want. We've got some as well. Dad, can you go and get some animals? I, I think I can. I think I know exactly where to find one. Uh, in here. Lost that one. Yeah. Here we go. Just like what you said, animals, and we get there. You can get pigs. Get pig. All kinds of different animals. All kinds of different animals. Maybe next time we'll put different animals to different plant pot. How about that? I'll see if I can get some more animals. Yeah. While well, we're waiting for Sabi to get some more animals because he knows exactly where they are. And like we said before, it's very easy to do. And we can use natural materials. Very, very natural this one because the wood we didn't have to buy any pots but this is looking good already you have the bigger one put at the back if you want to decorate your table with it let's go for it here we go how about that well sabi is um getting the animals i am just gonna count more one you're right two three Four and five. Here we go. Just in time, Savi. Well done. The big Good. box. There's a gorilla. A gorilla. Which can be up here. You can put them anywhere you want. There's a cat. As many as you want. Very nice. So you can put whatever you want in these. As long just as you sure. don't, just make sure you don't break the plant because you want the plant to grow nice and healthy. 
then I just put this one there. Oopsie! I just dropped this one here. Um, it to fall down, so I'm pretty sure you'll like this one a lot. This what is that really one? Funny. What is it? It's a monkey. <laughs> That's right. It's a monkey. Oh, oh, ah, oh, oh, ah. Very cheeky monkey. Very as well. cheeky monkey, just like some of oh. you guys. Some of you are very, very cheeky, from what I know. Here we go. Thank you, everyone, for watching, and thank you for thank you for helping Savi. And although I think I am the one helping Sabi because he's doing all the job. So thank you. We're gonna say goodbye to everyone now. Goodbye. Goodbye. What do you wanna call this project? Well yeah, name it. I like the idea of making it mini jungle paradise because it's got a lot of animals and this one sort of looks like an enormous tree. And down here there are a bunch of bushes, so I think that sounds really good.